Are you wondering what the difference is between the Fun Fab Drawing Club, the Mixed Media Society, and the Celtic Collective, and the Wonder Bundle at Awesome Art School? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what the difference is and what you learn in all three. Uh, that's four, actually. In the Fun Fab Drawing Club, you learn how to draw. <laughs> no, you really do. That's what we do. And a few things. It's truly for all levels. If you are brand new to drawing and you are 84 years old, I can teach you to draw. Isn't that so cool? And I do it every day and people get really good at it and shock the heck out of themselves. So how do I do it? Well, it starts with only having to use very basic supplies. The emphasis on the drawing club really is your skills way more than it is about getting fancy with our supplies. So let me show you what supplies we typically use. So this is um, this is the illustration set that I, I actually put together with Jerry's Artorama. I'm not showing you this to sell. I actually don't even ever talk about this. No one even knows that it's even a thing, I don't think. But it's just the easiest one-stop shop place to show you what we use. If I could just get the freaking box open. Okay, so legit in this box is about all you need to do 80% of the drawings in the Fun Fab Drawing Club. So what does that mean? For paper, I generally use Bristol and I have a very economical alternative to Bristol if you don't wanna buy Bristol. You're gonna need a pencil set like this one by Cezanne. I like this one because there's more dark than light. So for instance, uh, it just starts at 2H and then it goes all the way up to 12B. Uh, yes, this range we work in the most. You'll often see me working with a black wing pencil, which you do not have to buy because if you buy this pencil set, you don't need to buy this, which is very expensive. But this pencil gives you this upper range, but in just one pencil. So if you see me using them, you'll know even before you join what why I use it so much and why I love it. What else is in this box? Let's see. Oh, you'll need some erasers. Doesn't have to be this kind, just showing you my favorite. You need an eraser. You need a pencil sharpener. You are definitely gonna need some blending stumps, super cheap. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a white Posca pen or a paint pen. Um, I highly recommend a mechanical pencil. I use, this is a Graph Gear 500, so it's less expensive. I always use a Graph Gear 1000, which is double the price and double the heaviness, but these are included in the Jerry's pack because they're cheaper. You might like to experiment with some charcoal. So here's a perfect starter set, as well as a pencil to go with your charcoal. This pocket pencil brush pen I cannot live without and I use it in all my projects across all three clubs so this is an essential in my world anyways this is a luxury but super nice to have it's a tongue eraser it's this teeny weeny baby baby eraser and it's magical and then last but not least here are some amazing fine liners that will not smudge when you use alcohol markers and alcohol markers are you can see over here there's a lot of super affordable brands on the market that are like 50 cents a marker. So I use those a ton in the drawing club. And the only other ingredient that I like to use is uh, I too occasionally work on tone paper. So like a tone paper pad like this. So that's like, we use these supplies for, again, actually, if you include the markers, probably 90% of the projects in the club, and I'm talking like hundreds of projects, we use only these materials. So what do we make? Okay, and actually, this is a website that is public, so you could actually go um, see all the projects you're, for yourself. Um, if you go to awesomeartschool.com, and even if you're logged out, here I'll log out so I can show you. So even if you're just coming and you're you're, you're not in the the club, um, you can just come up here to awesomeartschool.com and click on the FunFab Drawing Club at the very top, and it actually takes you to the visual index for the whole club, where you can actually scroll down and see everything in here that's available to everyone, including our monthly calendar. Um, you can see the free books that come with the club. 
um, everything in here. I'm, I don't, I'm trying to make this video quick. Um, so for beginners, you have a clear path to follow. These are eight classrooms that you just follow in a row. So it's very easy to follow and you gain these skills that are listed here on the left. So if you want to go to the website and read a little bit more. Um, okay. So there's the supplies I just literally listed out for you. Um, and then you can see these are the classrooms and then you can see the projects that we make. So there's stage one pixie. You can see we start at Zentangling, which is super basic. Then we move up to shapes and shadows. We learn like how to figure out where a shadow goes and the highlight and we learn how to blend our graphite. Then we do a re this is a great lesson on finding out for yourself if you like whimsical things or if you prefer realism, which will come handy later. We learn how to color with markers in this classroom too. So we are um, start adding color in stage three. So pretty quickly. And that it's fun because at the end of each of these classrooms, you actually earn a little digital certificate that you can, some students I know they print them out and they hang them up. It's super cute. Stage four, we actually start learning turned faces. We do three quarter portrait and profiles here. Stage five, we start turning our attention to realism. So we, we first focus on each individual facial feature and then we start our first toned paper project. And then we end with stage six, which is a realistic three quarter portrait and profile. Stage seven is super cool because it's an intro. We sort of jump away from faces. And the reason I have such a heavy emphasis on faces in the drawing club is because faces are super hard. So if you can go through all those classrooms and people cruise through those pretty quickly, all of a sudden, like, they're like, holy moly, like, I have skills. <laughs> like, I can do stuff now. It's pretty awesome. Then you can go explore the other classrooms in the club. But before you do stage seven is a classroom that has an introduction to some other things that I have classrooms on further on in the club. Um, first, we I introduce you to my quadrant method. And that is my way of copying figures. And you can really use it to draw anything like this little cute little fox, um, like perfectly, but it's way more fun than the grid system. And it's easier and faster two and we also do introduction to perspective one point and aerial perspective and our, and learn what architectural elevation is and an introduction to that so now that you've had all of those zero through seven classrooms under your belt if you were a beginner now you can go anywhere you want and check this out look at all these projects oh i'm going the wrong way i want to make everything littler so i can go faster so these are all bonus classrooms we have whimsical women of the world realistic portraits we have whimsical faces and random fun we have all that learn to draw hands i have 31 hand projects as you can see they're very realistic we have our fun fab figures classroom which are super fun. This is my favorite classroom, I think, because you learn not only how to copy someone exactly, like this one, for example. Like this one's a perfect. So you learn how to do this one exactly, and then we do it again, and you get to make it your own. And I have a whole sheet. I teach you nine ways to make something your own. Look, we added a wolf and she's carrying a sword with a moon. And so like we learn a lot more. This one, look, we start off copying. This is an art deco. And then we transform her. I transform her into a mermaid. <laughs> okay. This actually, I have a pencil pouch design with this on it. So it's so fun. Um, and then just to draw your attention to these little buttons, the pink one is easy. The blue or teal is intermediate and then the purple ones are hard. So you can kind of at a glance really quickly find the lessons that are appropriate for you. And we have all levels here in the Fun Five Drawing Club. Here's a fantasy classroom. So yeah, again, we have easy. This is super easy. Look how cute she is. Okay. And then we have like uh, super hard, <laughs> like our seductive siren, which is in charcoal. And on occasion, these two are watercolor. So on occasion, I do mix it up and I will introduce a few new materials. If you're like bummed, like, oh, there's not enough materials in the drawing club. Some of the advanced projects, I will throw in some for fun. Here's a whole classroom for toned paper. Here's some dudes for those who are like sick of get sick of drawing females. And then here's females for your over the dudes. <laughs> 
Here's a whole classroom for furry friends. Look how cute that cartoon is. Come on. So here, these are really great. These, this is a great classroom if you're feeling uh, creatively stuck. A lot of people come here and get unstuck because it's really fun and it's a nice break for drawing faces. And we also do like highly realistic things like too. Like look at this cute little baby orangutan. So we do serious it up as well. It's not all like ridiculous. We have a nice mix of I'm being ridiculous there, but like that's like a really realistic horse. And it's actually not that hard to do. That guy's in charcoal and that little orangutan's in graphite. But then we have these like adorable cartoon dog series. So it's a nice, like refreshing variety, I think, for a lot of levels and a lot of different people. I need to add more florals. There's not very many here. So I have, there's more coming. This is the Fun Fab Facades classroom where we do urban sketching. Oh my gosh. We do one point perspective, architectural elevations. Uh, we do a castle inside and outside, two point perspective, one point perspective, all of it. This is just random uh, Adams Family fun, which is what's ridiculously fun. We have a little bonus backgrounds that needs more lessons. That's why I'm excited that these things never stop growing. And then this is our drawing the decades, which is my favorite classroom hands down. So we started a little bit with the 20s and 30s and then jumped into 40s, 50s, 60s and we're going to continue going right up through the 90s and then we're going to stop and do steampunk and then after that we're going to do creating the centuries and we're going to go back in time so those are literally all of the drawing club lessons with new ones added every other week bananas so that's the drawing club in the mixed media society we do nothing but painting so think old wet juicy materials and in the mixed media society you don't need any drawing skills because i will either give you a traceable that you can print out and then i'll teach you how to transfer the outline onto your own canvas or if one is not provided, you have my permission to print out a final copy of my painting, which you can again transfer and trace the outline of any subjects that might be in my painting so that you can get to the fun part. I'm all about the fun. So the Mixed Media Society supplies can be quite complicated, but I do not ever make it that way. That's like my superpower. We're breaking it down to the essentials so that even if you've never done mixed media society, mixed media society, never if you've done mixed media before, you don't need to have any prior painting skills or knowledge. And I start you off um, at the very beginning with like eight specific supplies. So if you get these eight specific supplies, here, I'll just show you what they are. You need a canvas or art journal or watercolor piece of paper. You're gonna need matte medium and some collage, gesso and some paint of your favorite color, uh, either a stibolo, either a watercolor pencil or a colored pencil, um, some gelatos or gel sticks, um, some Mod Podge or more matte medium that you already have and already used, a pit pen and some more Mod Podge. And I actually focus an entire classroom on each supply. So that there's like no doubt about how to use it and what to use it for. And then after go, you go through these eight classrooms, you can go on and make, explore all these other mediums like watercolors and encaustics and pastels and acrylics and so much more. And I'll show you how the classrooms are organized. But all of these paintings up here, I do almost all of them with the exception of the big one, which is just acrylics are all done with my hamburger system. And I, it's the first thing that you're going to learn right off the bat. So you can get right caught up and start doing projects with me right away. It is so much fun. So I will show you right now. I'll share my screen so you can see exactly the supplies you start with and then what different levels. And then I'll just give you a glimpse of the fun classrooms that you get to explore. And just like I showed you before, you can also anyone in the public can access all the projects they can't access any of the projects but you can see the projects on this public website by going to awesomeartschool.com and then clicking up at the top on mixed media society <clears throat> and then you can again just like the drawing club see all the projects that we do in the club this is the actual page that our members use to get to the projects. so but it's it's public um, these are the six books that are included with the membership. 
Uh, annual members get these two for free, the paperback versions, and everyone gets the virtual versions. Um, here are links to the latest lessons and our office hours, Zooms. Uh, Karen's World is a whole rundown of like every single, like my opinion, links to and descriptions of the most popular products that I use most frequently. These are those beginner classrooms I was discussing earlier. So you just follow, you just do all of them in a row. And there's just not much in each one. So you kind of zip through these. You learn super quick. You zip through them. Everything you need to know, I give you a supply checklist. You can print it out, take it with you to the art store, grab your eight supplies, and then jump into the into the stage one and two collage and three, learning how to do acrylics from scratch for the first time and blending. And four, learning about permanent and water soluble supplies. And five, learning how to use gelatos by themselves because we're going to be using them over acrylics pretty soon. We're going to learn all about sealants, very important. We're going to learn all about um, pit pens and pit pens alternatives if you cannot get them. And then we have a whole classroom dedicated to finishes. And these are classrooms you can refer back to also if you need refreshers. You know, they're all here for you. You have instant access to everything when you sign up. Then you have this huge slew of super fun bonus classrooms that all, and these also within them are like mini curriculums. You'll notice the pink means easy, the teal means intermediate, and the blue and the um, purple is advanced. So you'll notice that every of these classrooms that start with a supply, like these are mark makers, it goes easy and then it gets a little bit harder and I actually don't have any advanced projects in there. Um, awesome acrylics, easy, but so cute. So like there's a huge variety from like cute little whimsical animals. We do lots of florals. This is an amazing side-by-side -side exercise I do where we do a wet on wet blending, same project, wet on dry blending. We also do that in the blender beginner stage. And then you can do, um, this is an acrylic, this is just acrylics, painting only. So we have a huge variety we get of, of, we have some abstracts, how to do intuitive paintings. This, this is a giant three foot square canvas that I did of a dragon. So there's just a ton of variety and there's all levels. We have a whole uh, module for watercolors. This is one of my favorite exercises of all time. We're exploring salt on making whales. I just love these projects. <laughs> this is one on sea creatures. So if you've never done watercolors before, this is these are perfect, easy beginner swatch. Look at this one. We're swatching, but we make hair out of it. Like I can't not really have fun when I'm teaching. That's why I'm obsessed with teaching. It's just so much fun. So um, it's just a really big variety of projects and they get increasingly difficult as you go into the classroom. This is on caustics, which no one ever does. And it's honestly my favorite classroom of all time. Highly recommend trying it. So cool. Mixing the media is really a beginner to art journaling. So this is a whole, whole classroom dedicated to art journaling and mixed media. Um, this is an entire classroom for people that are interested in learning how I paint with fountain pen inks. Actually, I have a brand new project that just came out doing a giant inky apple. This is a whole classroom learning gouache. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. This one I think might be one of my all-time favorite uh, lessons. Gouache is very challenging and I really enjoy digging into that. Um, here's a classroom where we just play with a Stabilo All Pencil super fun. These are all the projects you have access to that I teach in my mixed media magic book to have the video versions of them, which is pretty cool. And these are all hamburger lessons that you learn when you are going through those beginner phase stage um, courses. So classrooms, sorry. So once you go through those beginners, you can come in here and you can do any of these um, and know exactly what each layer is. You know, you already own all the supplies that you're going to need and you, we can just fire away. So there's again, lots of advanced intermediate and beginners. Hot dogs are projects that have uh, four layers or fewer. And I'm adding to on to all of these classrooms over time as well. Here's a fantasy classroom. If you enjoy fantasy, Here's a whole classroom where I put all the animal projects in one place so you can find them super easily when you're feeling in the mood. Super silly. We need to do all silly. We will do a lot of silly stuff. I just like, I mean, come on, come on, stop it. I can't even take it. Our deco classroom. 
We have a floral classroom. I do this. The, my favorite is, I think, is probably this tulip series. I have this whole series hanging in my house on my downstairs. We have a whole series on pretty painted portraits. And I, gotta, I give you new lessons every other week. So we just keep adding on. Bryn has become a really popular guest artist that I love to feature. She's mega talented. So she's been contributing her lessons to the Mixed Media Society almost exclusively. So that's a big perk of joining too. And then we have a huge holiday classroom as well. So you get access to all of it when you join. Okay, so now for the Celtic Collective. The Celtic Collective has a very different flavor to it. First of all, I share all of the teaching responsibilities exactly half and half with my best friend, Lucy Bryden. She lives in Scotland. She is this cool redhead and I just love her to bits. We run retreats every year. We're actually doing one twice next year. This year actually in Scottish castles because we love, we have a podcast that's ridiculous together. We love fairies and fantasy and mermaids and castle. I mean, look at the mermaid. I just, I love fantasy. So this is the club where I get to like nerd out on all my favorite fantasy stuff with my favorite friend who also loves the same weird stuff that I do. And then we get to share it with you if you're into that stuff. So um, projects, uh, interestingly, it's like so the clubs are so different from each other, even though I know I run all three. So the for materials in the Celtic Collective, Lucy and I really exclusively teach graphite drawing, watercolors. She has a heavy emphasis on gouache, which are just watercolors that are solid, opaque. And I introduce some inks. I'm like... That's it. We don't do we don't do fancy layered mixed media. There's a little bit of it, like a tiny bit of it. And so supplies are very limited to really graphite and watercolors is probably 80% of the lessons with a side of ink and gouache, 20% of ink and gouache. Um, I also love doing like tone paper drawings, like this giant unicorn I just did last. Um, and and the, something that all three clubs have in common is that we have a place for beginners. Uh, one of my favorite things about the Celtic Collective and the way we teach is that we do these deep dives every month. Well, every month we change themes, but my favorite, and I think it's our students' favorite too, is that we do these deep dives on fantasy authors from time to time, not every month, but quite often. <laughs> so we'll take like, Lucy and I will spend all of our money to buy these out of print books and we will share them with you. And we do these like deep dive studies on these different artists to see if we can unpack and discover and learn about their techniques, the materials that we're using, that they're using. And we try to learn from them. And then we will teach you different projects based on the techniques that they're doing. And it's just so inspirational. Um, I, you know, I go broke buying all these books. So it's amazing that we have this club that we can justify. Look at her. Look at her little boobies. I know. So naughty. Um, but it's just like, look at this. Like Lucy and I obsess over this stuff. And then we have monthly Zoom meetings where we can geek out over it with uh, other people who are into this stuff too. We vote on the future month's lessons. It's so fun. So let me show you a little bit of, of the other projects that you'll find. Okay, just like with the other two clubs, if you want to see all the projects, you just start at awesomeartschool.com. You're sensing a theme and you go to the top of the screen and this time we're going to click on Celtic Collective. And this is our, I love this girl. She's like, oh, she's also the cover of our collect, Celtic Collection book, which uh, new members get um, upon sign up. So yes, annual members get this get these first two books free with their membership paperbacks and all everybody annual and monthly get uh, the ebook versions of all five of these books. Um, they, this, this is a really quick, we drop new lessons on the seventh of every month, just like it says, Zoom calls are on the 21st. Um, so if you want a quick shot to the new lessons, you just press that arrow right there. Um, we have a whole um, classroom. Okay, so I love the Celtic Collective because every classroom is like ultra themed with like fun little icons and stuff so our supplies classroom is called quill and parchment obviously and um these are these are dedicated uh individual demos and tutorials on the most frequently used things that we use and like i said it's pretty much just oh i, I forgot i did introduce alcohol markers i completely forgot so we do touch on that as well 
And then we give you our most uh, accessible or most frequently used PDFs. We just keep in storage here for you. Sacred Stone Circle is our Zoom calls. You can just catch the recordings there. And this is our little decoder system. So easy is pink, intermediate is blue, and advanced is purple. So same colors as my other clubs. And that's because if you're a Wonder Bundle member, you can easily kind of go from club to club and not have to learn a new system. But actually Maidens, just like with the other two clubs, they have a whole classroom dedicated to easy. So if you're brand new to watercolors, alcohol markers, and ink, you can just come right here and focus and learn those skills before moving on. And then here's a sneak peek at some of these lessons. So we have Sealy Court. Those are the good fairies. Unsealy Court are the bad fairies. Ancient apothecaries, all the magical herbs, trees. You have the many magnificent manses. So castles if our gods and goddesses. And of course, we just dump more lessons into these every single month. Our mythical creatures. We have podcast episodes that accompany a lot of these too, which is hilarious and ridiculous. Um, but you can see here, oh, won't let me in because we're not members. I'm trying to get a zoom in. <laughs> I'm getting, I have visitors, my dog is here. Billy, we're leaving in two seconds. <laughs> so here you can see the unicorn. Spellcaster, so these are our witches. We have wizards in here. Our, we even have a vampire witch. <laughs> we have sexy Celts and kilts, as you do. And we, this is the master's apprentice classroom that I was talking about earlier. So we've studied Amy Brown, Brian Froud, um, Anne Stokes. Who else have we done? Jean Baptiste uh, Mong. And then lastly, we have Celtic Wheel of the Year. So as you can see, the theme runs strong, so fun. I also have to mention that in all three clubs, we do weekly, uh, monthly Zoom meetings. So the community component is a really big part of all of the clubs at Awesome Art School. Um, the reason it's so cool is that we get to hang out with each other. They all have monthly Zoom calls. We actually get to know each other. Like I can, I, I know what people's faces and you look like and what names. I know people's birthdays. Like we really truly get to interact and know each other. So that is super nice. And what's also nice about the Zoom calls is if you have questions for me, like I'm right here. You can just come and ask me. It's awesome. I try to vary the time so we can hit different time zones. We also have monthly giveaways. I love freaking swag so much, but more than designing it, I love to give it away. So our members, we pick three members every single month who win, can pick anything out of my Etsy shop that they want to. Um, yeah, so it's just a really great place to find some friends, really learn like actual skills, What's nice is for beginners in all three clubs, we have places for you to begin. Like new, start here. So there's no confusion about where to go if you've never done anything before and you just don't have any skills. We can, we can tell you exactly where to start. Um, for intermediate artists, it's really nice because there's so there's we have advanced projects as well. So we can keep you entertained and also learning so you can take your skills from medium to advanced. And then for advanced artists, and Lord knows we have them. We, there's there are artists in our that are members that are way better artists than me and Lucy. And they knock, they take our lessons, and then they put their own spin on them. So they use it for like super inspiration as a as a jumping off point. Like you can use the lessons in any way that suits you. So it's. And that holds through uh, holds true for all three clubs. So um, Wonder Bundle is a term you might hear bouncing around. Oh, I'm just looking. There's like these, just had these stickers made. Here's a good visual of all the clubs. The Wonder Bundle is for people that are all in all three clubs. So each club individually is $33 a month. That's as I film this in 2023. And the Wonder Bundle people actually buy two and they get the third totally free. So you never pay for more than two clubs, but you can be in all three. However, there's also an annual option. So those are monthly. If you want to save some money and also get some cool books, oh, I should show them to you. You can join as an annual member. Annual members in a single club get two months free and we also mail you the two books that accompany your memberships. 
So for the Mixed Media Society, that's a workbook and the guide. For Drawing Club, that's a workbook and a guide. And for Celtic Collective, that's our Celtic Collection reference book, which has 300 uh, fantasy art references photos in it that are copyright free and the guide. If you are a Wonder Bundle monthly, you pay for two, so it's $66 a month. If you want to join for a year, you get four paperbacks mailed to your house because that's all of those books I just mentioned. Plus you get three months free. It's bananas. So it saves you actually a ton of money. Some other benefits for joining the Wonder Bundle are these great pretty planner pages that we designed for each club that help keep you on track and organized. As you can see here, our sh member Sherry put all of her planner pages into binders to help keep her sorted. You also get access to these wonderful additional daily tracker sheets to help track videos and which memberships you're working from and which lessons. And instead of monthly Zoom calls, you actually have a weekly Zoom calls and we spoil you just a little bit more come renewal time. I should also mention that the Wonder Bundle, the Drawing Club, and the Mixed Media Society also have included with their membership my $12 a month YouTube and Cheat Sheet Collection Library, <laughs> which is a membership on its own. So the, the value is banana pants. Like it's, it's crazy. So if you wanna come, I hope you do. And I hope that helps explain what you get inside each one. I also hope you know, like if you have questions, cause I just barreled you with a lot of things, uh, you could just go to awesomeartschool.com and you can read. Uh, the doors are only open like three weeks to the public a year. So that I have a wait list set up at awesomeartschool.com on our homepage, but you can go and click in there and read more information, but you can also add your name to those wait lists. And then if there is a cancellation between those public openings, we'll email you and let you know you can slide in. Okay, awesome. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks, I hope that's helpful, bye.